us what we know about the Flight SQ321 incident so far. On May 20th, Flight SQ321 departed London Heathrow Airport at 10.38pm local time. There were 211 passengers and 18 crew on board, and the 16-year-old Boeing 777 was scheduled to land in Singapore after a 13-hour flight. For the first 10 hours, everything was fine. Then, the plane started tilting upwards and shaking. I started bracing for what was happening. A 28-year-old Malaysian passenger told Roy. He had his seatbelt on, but many others did not. Just a few seconds later, SQ321 suddenly dropped in the sky. According to passengers on board, the drop was dramatic. Everyone seated and not wearing a seatbelt was launched immediately into the ceiling. Some hit their heads on baggage cabins overhead and dented it, and objects were flung around the cabin. The fall only lasted a short while, but the damage was severe. According to a passenger, the crew and people inside lavatories were hurt the most, because we discovered people just on the ground not able to get up. There were a lot of spinal and head injuries. Another described seeing other passengers giving first aid, or injured passengers screaming in pain. One of the crew members said it was the worst turbulence she had experienced in her 30 years of flying. Parts of the plane interior were also damaged. The plane was forced to make an emergency landing. It was diverted to Bangkok and it landed at 3.45pm local time. The injured were rushed to the hospital. 53 passengers and one crew member were hurt, with seven of them in critical condition after suffering head injuries. A 73-year-old British man has died and likely suffered a heart attack. Thai authorities say no other deaths have been reported so far. According to SIA, the pilot encountered sudden extreme turbulence over the Irrawaddy Basin at 37,000 feet. There were 41 Singaporean passengers on board. Around 20 people from Singapore Airlines crisis management headed to Bangkok on a specially chartered flight. CNA reported, PM Wong offered his condolences and said that Singapore is working closely with Thai authorities and doing everything they can do to support passengers and crew. President Taman and Minister for Transport Chi Hong Tat have also offered their condolences. US aircraft manufacturer Boeing said that it is in contact with SIA regarding flight SQ321. The Transport Safety Investigation Bureau of Singapore's Ministry of Transport said it is investigating the SQ321 incident. TSIB added that it is in touch with its Thai counterparts and will be deploying investigators to Bangkok. At 5.05am on May 22nd, 131 uninjured passengers and 12 crew members arrived in Singapore via a relief flight. 